welcome back to another taste test review. I am so excited to finally bust into these. I bought these while I was in Arizona last month, guys, and they are the pumpkin pie smashmallows. They are or smashmallows, I guess. They're limited edition, but oh my god, I'm so excited. These, I wasn't even on the hunt for. I was at Target with my sister, and I saw them. Only bag they had there. I was like, oh! yoink and grabbed them I don't even remember how much they cost but it was totally worth it because so I was like I know my luck I won't see them again if I don't buy them today so I would like to point out though they, they claim they look like this right right no they effing don't they look nothing like that like you can see a fine faint stripe in them but that color is so not accurate and all of this time that I've had Smashmallows before this, I've been like, am I doing it wrong? Am I a disgusting person because I held on to them for like a couple or a few months before I ate them and they got so faded and stale and gross or something, even though they're not even close to their expiration dates that they faded? Apparently no, because these are good till February and frankly... Yeah, I've had them a month, and they already look like that, and I think they did the day I bought them, so I'm like, okay, it's not just me, it's just not accurate packaging for what they show on the package versus what you get in the thing. I would just like to make that clear for everybody, because I've been giving myself a complex over this every time, because I'm like, where is the color stripe? I know there's supposed to be a color stripe here. The packaging says there's supposed to be a color stripe. Why is there no color stripe? Apparently there is faintly, but it's not super duper, you know. So these are 80 calories per serving, and one serving is like four marshmallows, which is plenty, and there's about four servings per container, so not a whole ton in here, but that's okay. Harvest the goodness. Amazing. Can you smell that? The zing of pumpkin spice wafting through the air. It's a flavor smash-up, rich and velvety cream atop a savory slice of everything nice. Oh, that just sounds magical. This no or this is no ordinary marshmallow. This is a smashmallow. Each mouth-watering puff is made from only the very best all-natural ingredients, then whipped up to perfection for an instant sweet tooth satisfying pick-me-up. And at around 80 calories per serving, it's a guilt-free, everyday, any time of the day treat for your taste buds. Discover your snackapade. Join the fun. Hashtag Snackapade. Smashmallow.com. And they're made in Sonoma, which that's not that far from here. But yeah, so the ingredients are organic cane sugar, tapioca syrup, water, invert sugar, gelatin, natural chai spice flavor, fruit and vegetable juice for color, natural caramel flavor, natural vanilla flavor, sea salt, tapioca starch. And the gelatin is kosher certified. So... There's like, per, uh, per serving, there's like 1% of your daily value of sodium, so there's like 20 milligrams, um, 19 grams of carbs, 30% of your sugars, there's like 15 grams of total sugars, and that includes the 15 grams of added, and 1 gram of protein, but everything else is like zero across the board, but I mean, nobody was expecting these to be healthy, so that's okay. <laughs> It is okay, but, like, first, can we just, like, appreciate the adorable packaging? I am such a sucker for cute packaging, but especially autumnal cute packaging. It is my favorite of the things I really should have had. An autumnal birthday. So close, but so far. With January, I'm only a few months off, guys. Uh, but if I had been an autumnal birthday, I would have been scary preemie, because I think it was already early, so whatever. Anyway, so, let's open it up. Oh, oh that smells good. Oh, okay. So, just saying, slightly deceptive packaging <laughs> for what they look like. I very faintly see a stripe, but I'm like, that that's... That's not like what the bag shows. They lied, but that's okay. It's like super hella soft still, so I know it's like not stale. It just, there is not nearly as much color as they would like you to believe on the packaging. Oh. 
Oh, that's good. Mmm. Very much pumpkin pie spice in there. It's a little darker on the stripe once you bite into it, but not by a ton. But, um... Mmm. Trying to nail down what I'm tasting. Definitely some nutmeg. Clove. Allspice, I think. Pumpkin pie spice is a given, but I mean... I think there's actually some pumpkin puree flavor in there. It's very good, though. I like it. And yet, it's so rich that I feel like one bag of these is probably plenty. Any more than that, it'd be overkill and you'd be like, nah, I'm burnt out. But one bag is probably, like, the perfect amount. I think, really, about the only flavor I've had of them so far where I really wanted more than one bag was the root beer, which I can't even find anymore, even though I know they still make it. Just, our stores don't seem to carry it anymore. Don't know why. They have the Smashmallow Rice Krispies, which I've never actually tried. I just see them every week. I'm like, can I just have, like, the regular Smashmallows? Thank you. That's all I'm asking for. <laughs> but no, that's too much to ask, I guess. These are tasty. I like them. I don't know if they're Target exclusive or not. And I hear tell that there are holiday flavors. That there is, um... Oh, what was it? Do I have my phone next to me? I do not. Okay. Because one of my friends on the East Coast texted me that they spotted two holiday flavors in, I think, Ohio at a Target. I want to say they were, like, hot cocoa... And maybe candy cane was the other one, I want to say. I could be wrong on that, don't quote me, but I want to say the other one was candy cane. But I was like, oh, those sound good. But, um, yeah, so I'm like, I don't know if they're Target exclusive or if those can be found elsewhere. I'm hoping I see them elsewhere because I'd, I'd kind of like to try those if I can find them. But this is good, though. I do like this. And yet, and yet... I think I still like the root beer one more, which is crazy. As much as I adore pumpkin pie anything and pumpkin spice anything, on this one particular instance, I think the root beer one is actually better. But this one's like a very close second, just saying. I've also definitely not tried all the flavors, mostly because I can't find all the flavors, but this is good, though. Anyways. That is about it for this one. Um, what would I rate it? Mm, maybe a 4.5 out of 5. Mostly because of the deceptive packaging with the color stripe thing. And just in that they're so rich to where I'm like, it's fun as like a one-off bag, but it'd definitely be too much to have them like all the time or anything for this flavor. But they are very good though. I'd recommend, I would recommend buying them once just to try them. But anyways, that is it for this one. So, as usual, you guys know what to do. If you like this video, go ahead and give it a like. If you're not already, you'd like to be click subscribe. Hit that notification bell icon so you never miss an upload. Yes, I look like a pig with it wadded in my cheek, I know. I'm trying to not. But anyhow, um, leave comments down below. Have you guys tried this flavor before? If so, what were your thoughts? Did you like them? Did you dislike them? Were you mad about them? Let me know anything and everything down below about these or anything else that you feel like leaving me. Uh, make sure you're following my social media accounts, my Facebook, my... my <laughs> let's try it again. My Facebook fan page, my Twitter, my Instagram, my Etsy, everything and more. It's all down below. And if you like what I do here on this channel and like to help support it, the donation link, as always, is down in the description. And in case you haven't heard it yet today and you need to, I love you and I'm proud of you. Anyway, guys, till next time. Bye-bye.